I have a millinery algebra question for you. What do you get if you take Phantom of the Opera, add Drag Queen, add Balenciaga-ish, add a bit of Mugler, add Gucci Spring 22? You get this. So I am going to be making this in today's video. It's my Phantom 35 video and it's in celebration of the 35th anniversary of Phantom of the Opera, which is my all time favorite musical. Um, oh, I just love it. So there's a few of us that I, I have been doing Phantom videos. I know this is late. I apologize. This should have been last week, but you know, so yes, I am going to talk you through how I made this, what I did, and what I would do differently next time. So if you want to see me putting this creation together, keep on watching. Okay, so I had audio problems. So this bit I'm going to be voicing over. So to start all this, I cut out my basic shape from some book room. I kind of knew what I wanted. I wanted like a long rectangle, which was uh, a long triangle, sorry, which was uh, thicker on one end and tapered up to a point and then it would be swirled around the hat, uh, around the head. So I cut this out of some buckram. I then used some thick like interfacing and wire. So I wired the edge and then used thick interfacing to kind of cover that and uh, um, hide some of the the sharpness of the wire. Once I had that, um, I then used this to make a pattern in, I think I just used like some wrapping paper that I had. So I used that to make my pattern. And all I did was lay it on the, on the table, drew around it so I, kn I knew what, I, what the pattern would be. And then using that, I cut out some, sil uh, some satin. So I had a black and a white satin obviously to, give you sort of like that phantom vibe because black and white. Now, this is where I may have gone wrong because what I actually did was I, it was just, it didn't seem to fit. And I did this four or five times and nothing really fit. It always ended up really, really, really short. So I made it oversized, which was a bit of a disaster. Um, as you'll see later on, well, it wasn't a disaster, but later on you'll see it It could have been done better. Um, so once I'd sewn that together and I tucked in the, the ends and I just ironed it down, I slipped the buckram inside and it fit perfectly. Well, kind of perfectly. And then I had um, a little bit left on the end. So that is where I was up to at this point. So when it's all sewn together, what I have done is um, cut away the excess of the seam allowance. And then if you noticed here, it's got quite a lot extra here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tuck that in and just do a, slit, a, a stitch just to hold that together. Now we are going to be covering the this edge, this raw edge here, and all along the top edge here with um, crystals. So try and keep your stitches. I'm going to try and keep my stitches nice and neat. Uh, I'm just going to use a tiny, tiny little stitch and hold just to hold that in, hold that together, uh, and then just put a little bit of heat on it just to get a nice crease. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, I might actually even just cut away most of this excess. Just then when I do press it, it doesn't leave any marks on the outside. So I'm going to crack on and get that done now. So instead, I decided not to go along with the crystal route. Um, in hindsight, what I should have done is I should have tucked the white fabric inside towards the back. Um, because you can see that seam from the front, which doesn't look great. And there is a little bit of puckering. So I wasn't too happy with that in the final result, but hey ho, this is all about experimenting anyway. So to make the eye, I first of all drew it onto the fabric using a tailor's chalk. 
and then using a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine I like did a, like a rough outline of what the eye should be what this says would help me is get the position right and also um, just secure that fabric down so it doesn't start moving around when I start adding some crystals then I cut out the eye hole as close as you can to the stitches as possible and then once I'd cut that out I went back onto the sewing machine and went back over the stitches just around the eye hole to kind of enclose those raw edges so I did a thinner stitch um, just to kind of um, enclose that roughness I mean it sat just off the face so it's not really going to be a problem but just visually I think it looked a lot nicer once that was all done it was decorating time which is always my favorite time of any hat making and so for this i'm using a variety of swarovski and non swarovski crystals so for the top eye and the flick outline of the flick of the eye i used um ss16 swarovskis in like a smoky black which I think you know just adds. It, it was it was nicer to use these because it wasn't quite black, but it was like not white if that makes sense. I used Chaton roses in jet size forty for under the eye, and these I received in my House of Adorn mystery box. So I did actually make put some use to them, and then to fill in the flick of the eye, I used SS16s in Swarovski. Um, crystal AB which is my favorite color is Oreo Balorellis or however you say that I used super tack glue to a, to uh, stick these down because I just it dries really clear and it dries really fast and it holds on to them so yeah I've always used this and it's just been the best for stick on flat backs love them and to finish I used a scattering of crystals around the swirl and I actually used up the last of my SS16 clear crystal AB, no not clear, the crystal AB, or I've used the last of them so I do need to like source some more before I can't get hold of them anymore. And there we have it. So, in hindsight, what would I do differently? I mean, I love this. What would I do differently? I was having a chat with um, Michelle from the Millinery Australia Association um, on at the weekend, actually, and she said, how, you know, I said, like, it's not great. Well, I mean, it's great, but it's just not perfect. And, you know, how would you make it perfect? And she said, what she would have done is, with the white, is to fold it over on both sides and then obviously attach sew it down and then use the black and put it you know get it perfect and then put it up against it um and slip stitch it around so then you've got like that perfect perfect edging i mean granted it's perfect it, most of it is fine most of it is fine it's just little things like this point here it could have been a little bit sharper this section here um, I'll put a close up so you can see it's it doesn't fit perfectly like there's nothing in that section there so yeah it wasn't the most accurate but I mean it still looks hella cute so yeah the one thing I do need to do is I need to add a comb just at this back here um, just that it's where, where it sits on the head because it sits kind of like this so it that section there at least it'll be attached to the head and it, and it won't move um so yeah let me know in the comments what you think uh what would you have done for phantom if you was to make something let me know in the comments down below and now my little announcement well it's more of a big announcement but it's it's an announcement all the same so this is going to be my last video on youtube for a while um, the reason being is I I need to focus on um, me and I also need to focus on somehow making this whole thing financially viable. Like I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds over the years on this and 
you know, I don't do it for the money, but it would be nice to, to do this as a job. So I need to take, a, take some time away, refresh, um, figure out how to do that. So videos will still come. I don't know when, um, I don't know how often, but they, they, I, I'm not quitting, I'm just putting my focuses somewhere. I, you know, recently moved to Australia, well, I say recently, like nearly two years ago, moved to Australia and I've not been able to work um, due to visas. So, you know, finally I'm in a position where, thankfully, I will be able to start earning something. So, you know, I am in the process of trying to sell my own wares um, and, and things like that. I, you know, I, I want to start doing workshops. I want to start doing online classes. I want to start doing, um, you know, just just things. I still want to be able to teach without teaching via YouTube because, you know, it's, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm very privileged to be able to do what I've been able to do for the last two years, you know, but there it comes to a point where, It's a very expensive hobby, a very, 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 very expensive hobby. And, you know, I'm very grateful for the other Mr. Westwood Hill for putting up with me and allowing me to do this while I've been here. But, um, and he's in no rush to, to, for me to, to stop doing what I'm doing. I just, I feel like, you know, I need to be able to do this sustainably as in, you know, me be able to do this and and you know the, the revenue from ads or workshops or classes or or wherever it may be um to kind of self fund my videos on youtube um so I am still going to be keeping on my patreon only so if you do want to uh, sign up to my patreon account it is list well, it's on the screen now and it's also listed in the description box below. I don't charge a lot of money. For, there are more expensive tiers, but, um, I, you know, I've got tiers f pretty much from £1 a month. So, you know, if you do want to keep seeing these videos more frequently, then, you know, and you, you are in a position to be able to, uh, to help, then feel free. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not not saying that I'm not making videos until I'm just saying, you know, there is that option there. Um, I, you know, I've got other things that I want to kind of work on as well. So things like, you know, I'm working on setting up a podcast. So there are lots of things that I have got in plan and trying to put one video out a week is a lot of work. And it has been great, um, but you know it comes to a point where I just financially can't do this weekly anymore. Um, those finances that I do put into videos, I kind of need to be put into other event, other like things I want to do and and the like. So, you know, I hope um, that you do stick with me. Um, you know it. I've been on YouTube now for several years now and it's, it's, it's been, you know, it's done wonders for my self-confidence. Um, I remember the first videos I ever put out were pants, but they've also been like my biggest videos. I mean, I think the, the one that's the, the one, uh, the best performing video is like the crappiest of videos and it's sitting at like 43,000 views. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, okay. Um, so yes, <clears throat> I just want to say I'm not going anywhere. I'm just not going to be here more as often. Uh, and the videos that I do put out, I hope will be a more, more fun, maybe not as educational, but they'll be a lot more fun. Um, yeah. So you know, I do, I do want to just say thank you very much to everybody that has supported me by liking, comment, sharing, subscribing. Thank you to Reggie, who is my ongoing Patreon. Like, you know, I, it's little things like that make, make the world, you know, I, I, if I, nobody was watching me, then I wouldn't make these videos, but you know, people do like what I make. So, 
it has spurred me on to keep doing it. But they, like I say, it does come a point where, you know, priorities change and yeah. So, I, you know, I hope, um, <clears throat> I hope that you do stick with me, like I said before, and uh, you know, I look forward to telling you all about my newest ventures going forward. But if you wanna keep up with me on those ventures, Make sure you follow me on all my social media. It's on the screen now and it's listed in the description box below. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff because, you know, I want to make millinery, like, popular again, you know. I mean, it already is. It's just, I want to make it even more popular and, you know, that's, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. But... Thank you very much for watching. My name has been John. You have been great. I love you all. Thank you very much. I will see you in the new year at some point. And uh, make sure you catch up with me on all my socials, like I said before. Until then, bye.